last week some of you guys mentioned that you wanted to look a little bit crisper on offense this week after some of the clunkiness in week one. Do you feel like you maybe got more of that throughout the game today? Yeah, I think um, offensively, um, you know, we were able to stay on the field and put some drives together and, you know, ultimately get in the end zone, which uh, we struggled with last week. So I think overall being able to punch it in and, and get in the end zone and, um, you know, just put points on the board, I think is, uh, you know, what we can take away from this game. Seems like Ryan was very quick and decisive with just about everything he did today. Can you speak to what he was able to do and how that helped the, the entire unit? Yeah, Ryan, Ryan was definitely uh, on point today. I mean, as he is, um, you know, every day um, in practice this week, he's, he's done a good job of, you know, seeing what the defense has given him. And if, if there's pressure, if there's a certain look that, uh, you know, the play is not going to work great um, going into, you know, he'll, he'll change it. And, uh, you know, he did a good job of, you know, um, staying poised and, and putting us in the right play. John Burton. Hey, Hump, congrats on the win. Uh, just curious about the – your touchdown, I mean, Ryan took a hellacious hit on that play. What does it say about his toughness to hang in there and deliver the football where you can catch it? Yeah, I mean, that, that's awesome. You know, that's what you want out of your quarterback, you know, as a receiver, just uh, having him trust you to, to go get it when the ball's in the air. And, um, yeah, he, I, I didn't see the shot he took, but um, I'm, sure he, I'm sure he did. But, um, you know, it was, it was great. He was able to put it out there and uh, give me a chance to, to go up and make a play. Jim? Hey, Adam, congrats on the win. Just the overall compass level of this offense already, it seems like you guys put a lot more together today. Is that a carryover practice? And can you kind of describe your touchdown in, in your mind? Yeah, no, definitely. You know, our, our offense is, is playing with some confidence right now. Um, you know, we've got confidence in Art calling plays. We've got confidence in, in Ryan, you know, leading our offense and, and Derek and the entire line at all three receivers. And, tight ends. You know, we got confidence in all our guys. So it's, it's great to walk out on the field, you know, every, every Sunday and have confidence in our team like that. But um, yeah, going back to the touchdown. Um, yeah, it was a, a good look for, for the route that I had. And um, luckily, Ryan was able to stand in there and get the ball off and I was able to make go up and make a play. Glennon. Yeah, Adam, uh, I was going to ask you on, the, on that same play, how important is the, the timing on that? I mean, the, the ball was up in the air for a while, so, I mean, it had to be pretty pretty well synced up for both of you guys, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the, the ball be, being in the air for that long actually gave me a chance to to peek at the, uh, the free safety and see where he was at. And, um, you know, I, I knew if I needed to – to go up and get it or if I could run under it or if I needed to go up and protect myself from, from taking a hit, you know, it was, I was able to, you know, kind of peek to my right and see where he was at. And uh, Ryan threw a great ball up uh, in, with pressure in his face. You know, you can't say enough about it. And, um, you know, we executed it to, uh, to perfection. Rex And just the importance of being 2-0, obviously, things to work on, but being able to, to grind these games out, make the plays late, how important is that? And do you think there is any carryover just from maybe the run you guys went on last year in terms of sort of, you know, learning how to win together and, and having that confidence late in games? Yeah, being 2-0 is, is all we can ask for right now. Um, you know, obviously, when we, we watch the tape, uh, on Tuesday, you know, there's going to be a lot that we can fix and a lot that we can get better from. But, um, you know, getting, getting a W is all I can ask for. And, uh, you know, I, I do think there is some carryover from last year, uh, confidence-wise, you know, with our offense and, you know, just the way we're able to work and communicate through this offseason and uh, just, just be on the same page um, is, is a great way to create confidence in our offense. And uh, we've been able to do that. Terry. Adam, given what Derek has done to Jacksonville over the years, it was obvious that they were trying to key on him and slow him down. Did you guys kind of know going in that the pass game was going to have to step up the way it did today? Yeah, I mean, going into you know every game week, we know that uh, you know we're all going to have to step up some way, some way or or another. Um, you know, Derek's our guy. You know, running back, and then we're going to feed him, and, and he's, he's he's our workhorse, and you know, he's going to do what he does. Um, you know, and today they made some good plays, you know, stopping them and not allowing him to, uh, you know, not get some of the big plays he normally does. But, um, you know, complimentary football, we've got to, we've got to, you know, pull it, pull it on our end uh, as receivers and tight ends. And, um, you know, we were able to do that today and, and get points on the board. Last question, Kyle. Yeah, Adam, uh, Ryan said last week that sort of what he aims to be is the, is the, 
the steady hand that sort of guides everything? Does does that that play where he gets kind of clobbered uh, and gets it to you in the end zone sort of emblematic of that? I mean, is that sort of the perfect illustration of of the the kind of quarterback he's trying to be for you all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's our leader. You know, we look to him in, in every situation. Um, and, uh, you know, he handles, he handles every situation uh, the way a pro quarterback should. Um, you know, he leads our, leads our offense each and every day in practice and meetings and, and sets an example for us. And, you know, he's tough. You know, he's taking hits and he's standing, standing in the pocket and delivering some great throws to us. So, um, as receivers and tight ends, that's all we can ask for. And, uh, you know, he's a great leader for our team and, um, you know, just, just happy to be 2-0. Last question, quick call. We have KB here. Adam for Kalu to make that play on the uh, squid kick and, and the awfully quick hands, awfully reactive, set you guys up for a, a, a free three points almost. Yeah, that, that was awesome. Um, you know, it's, it's a look that we prepare for. Um, a squid kick, you know, allowing, um, you know, it's to, for them to run more time off the clock and, and not let us get a chance to score points. And Kalu was able to, uh, you know, stop that, that kick and put us in good field position. And we had a, a good situation that was works. You know, a lot in practice um, with with Kirk and, and, and Tannehill to uh, make that throw over the middle, get down, and, and use our timeout to to get three points. Was so obviously um, a huge difference in this game.